Welcome to Happy Tutorial. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of installing and using the plugin to manage your ticketing system efficiently. First, we'll start by installing the plugin from a zip file. After that, we'll take a quick tour of the setup wizard where you can configure user roles. The support manager has full capabilities and the site admin is automatically assigned this role. Customer support roles are assigned to supporters who primarily manage tickets. Next, we'll set up ticket labels to help categorize and manage tickets more effectively and ticket statuses to track the progress of each ticket. We'll also explore ticket forms, which are the forms customers use to submit tickets. You can skip the setup wizard if you prefer and go straight to the dashboard. Next, we'll head over to the Ticket Status page to explain the purpose of statuses, which define the stages of ticket resolution. Click on the Edit button of an existing status to open the pop-up, which includes status setting. The status name is required priority to change the status post ion on the list, and choose colors for the status name and icon. You can assign an icon to replace the status name on the front end. To filter ticket by statuses, return to the status list, and click on the count to see tickets with that status. The next step is important, we'll go to the Happy Settings under General, where you can assign statuses to specific events in the Ticket Status section. We'll move on to the Ticket Form Settings page which allows you to create multiple ticket forms tailored to specific purposes. Each form has its own shortcode, making it easy to display on any page. We'll guide you through building a form by clicking on Add New Ticket Form, filling in the form title, and explaining the global settings. These include options like CAPTCHA, Subject Fields, Visibility, Customer Email, and Notices to Admin or Users. We'll show you how to add or remove fields and explain the settings for each field covering general, style, and advanced options. The advanced settings allow you to show or hide fields based on certain conditions related to other fields in the form. Now that we built a sample, go to the front end as an anonymous user and check the customizations and its advanced settings on the Create Ticket page. We'll then visit the All Ticket Labels page, where you'll learn how labels help categorize tickets for easier management. Drag and drop labels to change their order and search for tickets using the search field. You can click on the count column to find tickets associated with a specific label. We'll create a new label by filling in the name and setting its priority by dragging and dropping it in the label list. Then assign a supporter to a label, so they receive email notifications when a ticket with that label is created. Additionally, we have conditions to automatically assign labels based on ticket form data and specific field values. If multiple conditions are created, you can choose between AND or OR logic to determine if the label should be applied.
We'll then go to the settings page and guide you through each section, starting with user login, default option is the login form of Happy. While WordPress login option redirects you to the default login form of your WordPress site. And add a custom address here if you choose custom. Under ticket section is the settings for ticket and reply pagination. Lastly, we'll go over ticket status settings, where you learn how to assign statuses from the list to different events in the ticket status part. We'll also explain the three pages created by Happy, one for displaying all tickets, one for submitting tickets, and one for viewing KB articles. By default, Happy creates three separate pages, but you can use shortcodes to combine them into a single page. And don't forget to assign page under page setting, then, simply place it somewhere your users can easily find. We'll also cover the file upload options available only for reply attachments, not for ticket forms, by showing a split screen view, comparing a reply with and without an external link. In the working hours section, we'll explain how this feature visually informs customers when the support team is available. Set up working hours, use this button to apply working hours of Monday to all days, remove dates for days off. In the holiday section, we'll go ahead and create a New Year's Eve holiday as an example. Now, add the working hours shortcode and holiday shortcode to the ticket form page, and then show you how it appears on the front end. The holiday message will only show within the date range. The Messages Settings page allows you to customize the various messages displayed to users during form submission, attachment uploads, thank you responses, and error handling. These messages ensure clear communication and guidance for users interacting with your support system. Now, we'll go over the email settings. Here we set up the global customizations, and email content for admin and customer notices, emphasizing that these settings only apply to replies or closed tickets. Admin notifications are sent to the assigned supporter and the default admin subscriber. For email upon ticket creation, the content is configured in the ticket form settings, and the notification is sent to the person assigned to the ticket label.
These settings allow you to customize the appearance and functionality of your help disk support ticket system, including global style, tickets, replies, and custom CSS. Lastly, we learn the miscellaneous setting, which includes terms and conditions, GDPR compliance, and Google reCAPTCHA integration. Simply enable and edit the text as you want. For reCAPTCHA, it's a bit different. You need to follow these guidelines to find the correct site key and secret key to enable it. Now, reCAPTCHA should be enabled for the login form. If you want it on the ticket form, enable it in the form settings. For users logged in after ticket creation, they can check it in their ticket list associated with their account. Here they can leave a reply or close the ticket. And they may receive email notification about their ticket creation, like this. And an email about ticket creation can also be sent to admins as well. For guests, they can still open a ticket. But they can't view their ticket list, they will receive an access token via their ticket creation email, and they can view their ticket via that access token only. After the ticket is opened, supporters can see and start managing them. We have different ways to view tickets, both in the back end, where admins can see all tickets filter by label form or status and update ticket details. And on the front end, where supporters can view, reply to and close the tickets assigned to them. All tickets are private, users, both supports and customers, guests can only see tickets they're assigned or opened. When a supporter takes on a ticket, they can start by replying to the customer. These updates are reflected in the customer's ticket list or sent via email, with guest users receiving updates through the access token. It's worth noting that both support and users can reply to or close tickets from the front-end ticket page, and that these actions may trigger email notifications based on the email settings. In this part, we'll briefly you to some of the key supporting features that enhance the overall functionality of your support system. First, we'll visit the knowledge base section in the dashboard. Basically, they are articles that answers a frequently asked question or provides instructions for solving a problem that customers commonly run into. They can include informational article, how-tos, troubleshooting guides, or FAQs, etc. Here, you can filter knowledge base articles by the category.
As for FAQs, it gives quick answers to customer questions, to clarify, FAQs provide brief answers to common questions while knowledge bases provide more in-depth information, but since they're quite similar, I'll just add the FAQ shortcode to the KB page. Let's move on to can replies, save time and ensure consistent messaging across all customer interactions, create and store pre-written responses that can be easily inserted into tickets, and assign them to specific supporters. Supporters can only see the can replies assigned to them, and they can edit those can replies by accessing the ticket list front end, hovering over the hamburger menu, and selecting change can reply. We'll finish by enabling the WooCommerce integration. This compatibility integration allows you to create tickets for specific orders or order items. Basically, it'll add one additional step to the ticket creation, letting you choose specific order or order item to your ticket. You can bypass this step if not necessary.